All right, guys, how's it going this morning? I'm here at a uh, lumber yard and got the load ready over there. But it's real heavy. This load, let me let y'all have a look at it. The load is uh, 79,000 pounds, and I got a little less than a half to take a few. So now I got to make two uh, fuel stops because if I uh, fill it up, I'll get an overweight ticket, so I'm going to have to uh, fuel two times because I didn't fuel up Friday before I got here, so then I loaded it up to the max. Uh, so y'all be careful about that, about your weights, so when they give y'all, uh, you know, any place to got where you can... Uh, Weigh your truck out, go ahead and weigh it out and make sure your weight's right. Because you forget, if you're too heavy and you forget and you fuel up, it may give you a, a weight ticket. So that's just something to keep in mind, guys. And another thing for guys who have to buy their own tarps and stuff, uh, put your bungees on this way, hook it this way, and so it won't hook and tear holes in your tarp if you hook it. If you hook it from the outside like this, just keep your tarp safe. But well, that's my tip. Hope y'all be safe today, man. And peace. Well, there I got a little hungry, man. Got to take a little stop, eat my little meal. Got a little something here, a little hamburger patty and me some corn right there. And I'm gonna cut this on sale, so I'm gonna test this out there. This some uh, Mississippi honey barbecue, so I'm gonna throw that on there, and that's that's gonna be it for the day. That's gonna be my breakfast. So we'll track down something else for uh, lunch. Well, I got I got a few trays in there to choose from, but we'll see when that time comes. But yeah, that's what I got going on right now. Then hit the road. Hey y'all, I'm glad y'all could join me today. Hope y'all doing good. Get ready to leave. Just run, got to go about, about 500 miles with it. So I'll probably knock down about 385. today because I ain't got enough hours to run it all the way there so I probably could run about 350 to, to 425 off of it but do that and then start up early with it tomorrow that's the game plan last week I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in one of my other videos but uh the little phone outage, because I'm with AT&T, so we had a little phone outage in last week. PNS uh, transportation uh, boards was messed up for most of the week. It was going all slow and everything, so hopefully everything back up and running normal today. I hope it is, cause if not, it's gonna be another rough week. But of course, I'm a little better prepared. And uh, I didn't have my MacBook with me. I usually keep my MacBook, you know, my MacBook in my truck, but I ain't have it with me. And, uh, Good thing I go to uh, the same area a lot, cause if I didn't, I would have been messed up. I wouldn't have been able to find one of my customers. So, by me having, having been that, well, one, one I had done been to that location before, so that helped out, but if, But if I wouldn't have had that boy, I would have been like messed up. 
I would have had the weight. I may basically wouldn't have been able to get that load off. I probably would have had like one load for the whole week, but I ended up doing three, which wasn't bad considering what what had happened. Oh. Sticks a little bit. Like 61 degrees, so perfect weather today. Y'all been checking out some of these basketball games? Ah, hell. They ain't that good. Because they don't play no defense. I was talking about earlier. Yeah, it's uh, the weight was like seventy nine twenty, so that that wouldn't uh, give me like close to a thousand pounds to work with, but fuel went real heavy, so. I'd probably get away with, i probably put probably like 40,000 pounds. Yo, yo, about 40, 40 gallons in there, I mean, yo. 40 gallons about how much gas or fuel I could put in the truck without getting overweight. guys I'm gonna close this on out hopefully uh, I have some content for y'all tomorrow y'all be safe